Hey guys, so here's the Caracal tactic. Now this is um, like very modified because the Caracal was originally done with um, ranged horsemen. So um, I'm going to show you on my flanks. I have light infantry, light infantry. Um, over here I have four squads light infantry. Here's where I'm going to use the um, sort of Caracal tactic. Two squads of cav in reserve, uh, another two squads of light infantry, and one squad of lion uh, to support them. So uh, this tactic was basically uh, suggested by Immortal Lex, so uh, vielen Dank für die Anregung. Um, yes, I do speak a little German. Um, and yeah, he basically suggested a sort of like a line attack where you fire and then you advance your second lines into uh, your first, so you guys uh, spend less time reloading. You're going to see how, uh, how this works out. I'm going to try to set them in a nice choke point with my lane infantry. And there's one thing that this game really needed, I think, was probably the music of the time, like when uh, when troops were marching you'd have, uh, like, uh, for example, the British would have, like, the British Grenadiers playing. If they had that, this game would just be, like, awesome, and if you're a history buff, you really have to get it. Too bad they didn't implement it. But here you see, um, my f guys take their first volley, advance my second guys in front of them. Now it's very important here to keep your guys off fire will, so switch them on and off fire will, depending on which line's in front and which line's in back. So since this line's in front, it gives the guys um, that are in the back time to reload, then come right back in and take their volley. So I literally spend no time reloading, the only time I spend not firing is the time that it takes for my lines to get in front of my other ones. So right here you can see uh, my guys are reloading, and these guys are going to start firing pretty soon. I'm not sure why they're not firing right now. But you can see on my land infantry, I sort of squeeze them right into the middle. And yes, it is um, still the AI. Um, the reason that it is the AI is because um, my Total War Online is, isn't working, and I'm getting a new router soon, so hopefully I'll fix that problem. And um, once I do fix it, I'll get you some of these tactical vids that are done online against real players. And even if they don't work, I'll still show them to you guys. You can see right here, open volley. And uh, really soon they are closer now, so I'm going to charge right in there. So it's basically a modified uh, carry leader tactic. Just instead of advancing one squad of line infantry, um, you advance all of them. And you guys can see that this tactic works the best in the early stage um, uh, games. Because in the late stages you have to fire by rank, it takes a lot of time, it's very confusing. I tried using this um, in the later stages and uh, just I suggest not to try it because it's um, it takes a lot of micromanagement, a lot of time management and uh, you could be doing way more important things like uh, turning a flank or defending against a cavalry charger, anything like that. And um, yeah, even on a larger scale you could do this but uh, again, it takes a lot of microing and um, there's time spent uh, elsewhere that probably could be used better. So yeah, a little history on the Caracal. Um, it was used by a Spanish, like you saw at the, at the start of the video. Um, what it means, the caracole in Spanish means a snail, because it was slow. Now what, originally what the caracal uh, was, was um, they had basically uh, ranged cavalrymen who would just sort of cycle around each other. They would go to the front lines, take a volley, then retreat in all the way back in their lines where, where they could... Uh, reload their pistols quickly and you just had a constant cycle of cavalry firing on enemy lines. Now you can't really do that in the game with cavalry so I'm basically just showing you a sort of uh, line to line tactic. I just call it the caracal just for formalities but uh, that's basically what it was and uh, later on when guns became more accurate um, basically the uh, pistoliers uh, or the uh, reuters because uh, the Dutch use um, like they employed Reuters. Reuters were basically pistoliers, but they were well known for um, for using the caracal all the time. And that's basically what happened, but uh, once Lancers came along and um, Heavy Cavalry came along, um, the, uh, the uh, pistoliers just were basically taken out of action and uh, were not deployed any longer. So you can see it's just... Um, Recos have the best uh, defense out of all the line infantry in the game, so there's really no problem holding off against the uh, French line infantry and line infantry. You can see I turned both their flanks and that was just an easy uh, finishing off for me. So guys, um, 
I like to thank all of you because I just hit a thousand subscribers and I couldn't have done it without all of you. So um, I really appreciate what you guys do, and uh, yeah, it just gives me a better reason to keep on doing what I do. So uh, thanks, all you guys couldn't have done it without you. And keep on sending me suggestions because I work best with the suggestions. This video is a suggestion. Videos like the falling line, the uh, Carolina tactic, these are all suggestions, guys. So send me them. I, I still have some more suggestions that I have to get to, like the formation videos. The um, there's another uh, tactic called the oblique order that was suggested to me. I'm gonna make a video on that. So stay tuned and uh, keep on sending me these things. I promise you, if it is a good suggestion, I will make a video on it. And also some naval tactics. Um, someone sent me a suggestion there, and uh, yeah, I'll make a video on that as well. So thank you for watching the video as always, thanks to all my subscribers, and a big thank you to all you guys, uh, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon.